today i'm going to be showing you a hidden gem in croatia this is lopet island truly a hidden gem and it has one of the most beautiful hotels we have ever stayed at this is the lafodia rmh lopet hotel so i will talk about that in a bit now lopet island is very unique and it is not as busy or touristy as um, dubrovnik and um, so that's one of the reasons why we really like this place so if you're someone like us looking to avoid the crowds and this would be a perfect place for you so this hotel is actually a four-star hotel and it can be reached from Dubrovnik by a ferry which will cost about three euros one way um, and you can book that online and the hotel itself is just beautiful it's a four-star hotel but we really do feel it should be a five-star ab or above because the facilities here are just amazing they've got everything that you would need for a relaxation or a relaxation stay um, or um, a fun stay even they've got lots of things going on um, a lot about a lot of the facilities here are to do with wellness it is a wellness resort um, so you do get morning yoga you get have a great gym um, spa area um, and also swimming pools so as I said earlier you can reach um, Lopet Island from Dubrovnik uh, by a ferry um, you can book through the hotel but that's going to cost you more um, so if you want to save some money um, then you can just book it yourself on online or from one of the ticket office uh, places um, around the marina in Dubrovnik. Um, Lopet is usually an island that people visit as a day trip um, and it is part of the three Elephanti islands but of course if you're looking for somewhere uh, quieter than Dubrovnik then you can stay at Lafodia Hotel or one of the other hotels but we really really like Lafodia um, so we really um, would emphasize that if somebody is looking to uh, stay at a good hotel in Lopet or at Lopet Lopal Island then this would be the one for you and you definitely cannot miss it as soon as you arrive you can see the absolutely massive white building the huge palm trees and that's when you know that you are at the right place and actually the price for this hotel um, is also um, very um, budget friendly they have rooms for less than a hundred pound or hundred euros um, during off season um, so their off season is actually all the way up until um, mid June um, so if you're looking to go somewhere and you still want good weather but want to save some money then this might be a hotel that you want to book and um, they've got different types of rooms as well and um, so they've got a budget room like this one um, where you would be paying the least amount of money um, but you've got um, the standard budget room facilities so a standard bathroom with all the amenities that um, all the guests get um, and you also um, do get a balcony which I'll show you in a bit so regardless Regardless of the room type you book, you do get the same amenities. All rooms are clean, and uh, this hotel has recently been renovated, so you can truly see that um, it's kept up to date. Um, you get lots of towels. Um, you've got the hair dryer, all the normal facilities that you require. The bed itself was comfy. You've got lots of space in the wardrobe to keep all your belongings, and you do get slippers. Again, really nice touch i don't know many four star hotels that will provide you with slippers so that's great and you get a safe um to put all the um belongings that um you want to be kept in a private and safe space um and um apart from this uh, you don't actually have an iron or ironing board so i believe i did ask about this and they said you can pay um to uh, to get someone to iron um your clothes so unfortunately they don't have an iron or ironing board um just in case um you know that's something that you do need it might be worth looking into that on their website the prices and so on so you do have a fridge but this is not a mini bar so there's no drinks no snacks in there um, and you do get a kettle with tea coffee as you do um, in pretty much every hotel and the bed as I said before was quite comfy you've got four pillows um, and it's all very clean and you also get an extra pillow which is in the wardrobe so in case you don't like the pillow or you want an extra pillow then you do also get that uh, which is kept 
highway um, in the wardrobe. You've got a TV um, and they had a few channels on there. Um, so again, if you want to watch some TV, you can do that. Um, tea and coffee, as I was talking about before. So you've got that there as well. Um, now, breakfast, you do have to pay extra for that in this hotel. It doesn't come included in your in the price of your stay. Um, but I'll talk about that in a bit as well. So this is the balcony. Every room has a balcony, as I said before. So regardless of the room type category, um, you are going to get a balcony and all balconies face the sea. Um, so you are always going to have a sea view balcony, which is amazing again, because normally at other hotels, you would be paying much more or at least an extra additional amount of money just to have a balcony and also to have a balcony um, that faces the sea. Um, so that's really nice that, you know, despite staying in a budget room, um, budget double budget room, you do also get um, a sea view balcony. Um, you've got the chairs and table there as well if you want to sit there, have tea and coffee or just relax. So this is really the budget room. Now, taking you along the other places in the hotel, um, they've got an outdoor gym. So here is their outdoor gym. You can see that they have got um, some um, equipment there i wouldn't say it's 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 it's, it's massive i think it's fine for a for a small workout um but they only had a little bit of equipment um in the outdoor gym um so it's nice if you do want to work out you can do so and then they've got the spa as well now this is one of my favorite places in the hotel the water hill spa um it's got so many so many different things going on um one of my favorite bits that i'll show in a bit is actually the heated infinity pool now we went in june so it was too hot for us um to use it but if you're going um just before kind of the peak season or even in winter if you're going then that would be perfect so you've got lockers again in the spa it's all nice and clean very modern um they've got great technology there as well um and they've got a a, a side with an automatic uh, door as you just saw there with some shower Showers, open showers um, and then you've also got um, a couple of sauna rooms and um, so yes you are spoiled there isn't just one you've got a huge sauna room which you can see over here um, and um, then you've also got a smaller sauna room which I'll show you in a bit but you've also got automatic showers again open showers um, and here is an ice uh, bath I believe um, and then this is a smaller sauna room but this one comes with sea and mountain view which is again just absolutely breathtaking because i have not been to any other hotel which has a sauna room looking out to the mountains and the sea um so that's also open for all guests you don't have to pay extra you've got a feet bathroom a steam um a room as well which is again really nice and clean and quite quite big so a lot of people can fit there and then this is the infinity pool i was talking about earlier on um it's a heated pool um, I believe it was 27 degrees or 28 uh, when we went um, and you've got the lovely sea view there and this is one of the managers at the spa um, really really kind showed us around um, and gave us detail about all the different uh, treatments that are available they do also have a lot of offers so if you want a massage um, or if you want a treatment then do have a look at the offers as well um, we had a couple's a massage and we really liked it um, so we would definitely recommend that to everybody and this is one of their private um, therapy rooms or massage rooms you can book this out you've got a private jacuzzi and a sauna um, and this you can use it for couples or friends or families and then they've also got manicure pedicure rooms massage rooms and many other um, facilities in the spa as well so this is my favorite one of my favorite parts in this hotel and if I, I would probably just go back to this hotel for the spa um so that's how much i really really liked it um if you're someone like me who likes a good spa then this hotel is definitely for you um, this is the outdoor terrace. You've got two open um, air jacuzzis as well. They weren't working when we went. They were having it, um, I believe, um, checked out um, or something. So we couldn't show you that one, but they do normally work. You've got a gym room here. So there are different rooms in this hotel, depending on what you like. If you're someone who likes to work out, you can actually request to have a gym room, but you do have to pay extra for that. It is one of their special rooms. And then um, the basically the benefit is you 
work out in your room and then you've got a cinema room as well so if you're someone who really likes to watch movies um, and you can actually then request a room with a huge TV cinema chairs um, and you can actually do that so yes they actually have a room category uh, which is the cinema room um, a, ca a cinema room so yes and then they've also got a music room and a garden room so this is the music room and they literally have um, music showers and then this is the garden room where you've got an outdoor kind of garden area where you can sit and um, you've got lots of flowers you've got a jacuzzi and again amazing views from the balcony um, so the balcony views just do not disappoint um, and great open-ended showers they've also got apartments here so if you're someone who doesn't like to stay in hotels and you like to um, stay in an apartment um, it could be due to many reasons if you like to cook your own food or if you've got a big family then they have also got apartments as well it's owned by um, the same company um, and they showed us around a two-bed apartment so here you can say, see that it's much bigger than the bedrooms but it's also it's also more pricey um, than the bedrooms in the hotel so you are still able to use all the facilities that all the other guests use um, who stay at the hotel um, but you just kind of stay in that ship building that i showed you and it's only about a five minute walk from the main hotel's reception you get an absolutely massive balcony if you stay at the apartment so the balcony is definitely much much bigger than the ones that the hotel guests have um so which is great so if you are going to be staying in an apartment you do have that one of the facilities they also have that i really liked was the infinity pool outdoors so although this wasn't heated it was a great one to really cool off on a hot day and again you've got beautiful view of the mountains the sea and also palm trees um so it's a great Great place to just relax and have a nice swim and um, they have got so in total they've got two swimming pools so earlier I showed you the indoor heated one and this is the outdoor one which is not heated and um, but perfect for summer um, it might be a bit cold in winter well I, it will be cold in winter so um, I would probably use the indoor one uh, during winter and I think for summer this one is great and um, you have a great view of all the boats going by which was just very nice um, and then you've got an outdoor restaurant where you can go for the evening entertainment or you can have lunch and dinner there as well uh, we actually never had lunch or dinner there so we cannot give a review about that but they do do food and then this is the beach which is a private beach only for hotel and apartment guests and it has does have great water so you can snorkel here but again i might just look at the temperature it might be cold um so do do check that before going in you've got other sports like jet ski and then you can also hire out these gazebos on the beach just for a bit of privacy and relaxation you can go kayaking and um, that's also uh, an option i believe kayaking is one of their um, more affordable water sports something like a jet ski um, is more pricey a gazebo was a bit pricey as well um, but you can have a look at hotel deals and um, they might have deals on when you visit um, i actually didn't do kayaking um, but but I know that kayaking is something that's quite popular. There's also kind of external companies who take you around um, the island and to different islands. So you can book that as well. But again, that will be a bit more pricier compared to just kind of hiring out a kayak um, for 30 minutes at the hotel. Um, so these are really some of the water activities that you've got here. And um, again, I just really like this island, how it's it's not busy um, it, there's not many people and you really have it to yourself whereas compared to Dubrovnik which is only 30 minutes away it's absolutely packed um, and you would see hundreds of kayaks um, in the sea so if you're looking for uh, a bit of an intimate private space um, or a private place to relax and this would be the island for you um, and as I said you know you will if, if you're someone who likes a peaceful quiet place Lopad Island is definitely the one um it, it, it is the weather wise it was great um it does get a bit windy or maybe a bit chilly in the night but obviously look out for the weather again it does have beautiful sunsets though um so we watch the sunset every evening and every evening we were treated to a wonderful sunset so um i don't think you could get disappointed with this i think you probably are more likely to get a great sunset and sunrise every day um on this island uh, but we were there for two nights and on both the nights um 
we really really like the sunset we got some great photographs and um we got some great videos as well so we saw the sun literally going behind the mountain which was a really really nice um view for us um so if you're again someone who likes a nice sunset um again this might be an island for you so this was our first time actually visiting this island um, and we would definitely visit again for some of the things that I've already mentioned. In terms of evening entertainment, there are a couple of bars um, on the island, but we don't drink. Um, so we decided to go back to the hotel La Fodia and go to the restaurant that I mentioned earlier on. Uh, earlier on, and there we got in an alcoholic mocktail, uh, and we just spent our evening that way. Now, talking about the breakfast, this is the breakfast for La Fodia Hotel. You can choose um, some different types of juice drinks you've got a juice machine you've got the standard coffee um, and tea machine as well um, and then you've also got a pancake machine so if you're someone who likes pancakes then that is there for you unfortunately there they don't make it fresh it is this pancake machine um, that you have um, but yes it's I guess it's better than not having it at all and then you've got some meat options um and you've also got lots of different types of syrups that you can use on the pancakes nutella chocolate apricot jams they're all there you've got veggies um you've got scrambled egg fried eggs and then in the bakery you've got the normal kind of breads uh pastries croissants um all the sweet pastries and you've also got some fruit so you've got grapes apricot um the healthy kind of section so um, you've got lots of different types of fruits and then you've got a chilled corner where there was some cheese um, and there were also some butters um, and also some dressing um, so I actually never tried the dressing um, but there was some butter and then there was also uh, some more fruit so watermelon um, and there was also some salads um, so again something I've not seen before but salad for breakfast if that's something you like then they did provide that as well and there was just some more fruit so apricot um, and also yogurt so both making your own yogurt mixing it up and also kind of the tinned yogurt uh, pots that you get and last but not least you also got um, a nuts section lots of different types of nuts so if you're someone who likes nuts then um, you've got that there as well and you can also ask them to make an omelette for you which is something I asked for so the views from the breakfast place were again amazing we really really had a great time eating that food especially with that view um, the quiet peacefulness um, and not many tourists around and just having it to yourself so that truly was a luxury in itself for us and um, so as I said before that you know i would really really recommend this island for anyone um even if you haven't got a lot of time on your hand just book maybe a one night stay um if you don't if the hotel let's say gets pricier maybe look to spend um a day at least on this island i would definitely recommend that it is truly a beautiful island and i think everyone should see at least once in their life so we hope you enjoyed watching this video we did make a similar video for the hotel promotion um it is very similar but we wanted to make another one just promoting the island so if you did like this video do remember to like and subscribe to our channel and do follow us um, on instagram as well for regular updates um, and do come back and see more videos we love to have you around and take care and uh, see you soon